Many people have asked me how I made the spider you see right here. Today I'm going to show you how you can make a mean ass version yourself. It's not that difficult and I'm sure you can do it. I took it off the cobweb so we can have a better look at it. Look, it's even got eyes. More than two like spiders have. <laughs> and some mean looking jaws. I'm going to show you how to do all of that. And here's what this nasty looking fellow looks like from the front. Let's see if we can make one same as this. Now the big secret to making our spider are these hollow steel balls and I do hope that you can find them where you are but then I live here in South Africa and if I can get them here surely you should be able to now uh, I picked them up at my local steel supplier who's got a section where they sell decorative steel pieces for making fancy gates and as you can see they come in all different sizes today I'm going to select this one and this one to make my spider these two can also work but I would like to make a nice big spider so my body here the diameter of this ball is about 75 millimeters 3 inches and this one is going to be the head it's about an uh, inch and a half 38 millimeters now I only want half of these balls to make my spider so I've actually got enough materials here to make two spiders. You can see that this hollow ball, if you look carefully, it's been welded together. There's the seam. So I want to cut it on that seam to only have half a ball. But now, of course, cutting a ball in half is not an easy thing to do. So to make my life easier, I'm going to weld on this piece of flat bar right there to give me something to hold the ball. Yeah, like that. And it really doesn't matter what it looks like, because it's only temporary. And now I can clamp the ball in the vise, and it's being held securely while I cut it in half. I also cut the smaller one in half. And look at that, we've got the beginnings of a spider body. <laughs> this one I'll keep for the future spider. But here we have the body and the head. Now we got to figure a way to connect them together. Now it doesn't look quite right to me if these two, what do you call these things now? Domes or half spheres, whatever you call them. <laughs> but um, it doesn't look quite right to me if they just touch there. So I think what I would like to do is to just remove a little bit of material like that and the same on this one cut that away so that when I put them back together again they just look more connected please excuse the state of my fingers I've been doing some painting here and I don't own a pair of gloves but I will do a little bit of a manicure quickly. Beautiful. Right, let's see. Oh yes, that looks a little bit better. But now I am looking at this and I'm thinking, you know what, the spider's body is not such a perfectly round shape. So I feel that I need to just make these fellows a little bit more oval maybe. The wall thickness on this smaller one is quite thin. So I think I should be able to squash it in the vise a little bit. Yes, that seems to be working. Oh, it's getting there. It's not quite that perfectly round anymore. Maybe a little bit more. Let's go try that. 
Yes, I think that is a little bit better. It's not quite so round anymore. Let's see what I can do about the big one. Yeah, the wall thickness on this big fellow is quite substantial. Don't think the vice will do it. Let's try some wax with a good old four pound. Yes, it's not perfectly round anymore. That's what I wanted. Let me see. I don't know, it looks more like a tortoise to me at this stage of the game. But let's keep going. So now I've got to connect these two pieces together. But I don't want to weld it there. I like that crisp line that we see. So I think I'm going to give it a backbone. So I've got the slot in there. Being careful not to go past the edge of that half circle line that you see right there. And then I'm going to stick in this piece of flat bar, like that. Roll it there on the back, on the inside. And same here, also on the inside. Like so. I decided not to show the welding this close. It's not a big thing that we're working on here. And all that flashing, yeah, not necessary. So I'm not going to show the welding. Well, now that my spider has got a spine, it's easy to hold it in the vise. So the headpiece needs to go on there, like that. But it's not quite meeting there yet. Need to remove a little bit of material right there. Until this meets that one nice and flush. Yes. This is what we have now. I've got the head welded on as well. I can always cut this flat bar shorter or narrower later on, but for now it gives me something nice to hold on to and clamp it in the vise. I think I'm going to drill some holes for the eyes next. So one there somewhere and another one there. And since spiders have got more than two eyes, I think two more up there. So next I've got this piece of flat bar which is a little bit wider than the head of my spider. I'm going to cut a slot in here, like that, so that it can slot in. Then I can tack weld it to that spine part and then once it's in place it will set something like this. Here I will get a welding point for my legs. And then this piece that sticks out in the front, I can then shape it to create the jaws, or whatever you call that part of a spider. <laughs> Let's see. Yes, just like that. So I'm just going to tuck that on, and then we can shape this piece. And now it looks like this, so let's turn it over, and that's what we have. So now the idea is to kind of trim it, and I leave that part on both sides because I want to weld on my four legs there. And then I'll shape it a little bit, but for now what we would like to do is to create the jaws, I don't know, something like this. Maybe a bit big, eh? <laughs> I don't know. Let me shape this a bit and we see what it turns out like. But you get the idea. Thank <laughs> you. 
Yeah, I don't know, eh? Maybe it's too big. <laughs> but then it's just an imaginary, maybe it's an possibly cartoon-like creature, figment of our imagination, so does it really matter? Right, so I've got my legless thing sitting here on a block of wood with a slot in it. And talking of legs, let's think about those. So I've just cut some pieces of wire to get a feel for proportions and whatnot. So I think maybe that one there. And then we can possibly do another one there. And so on. So, um, for inspiration and to get proportion on legs, Google an image of a black widow spider, which we're not trying to simulate, but it's a good source of inspiration. And I think one important thing that you can take from those pictures is that your legs should not all be exactly the same and symmetrical. The lengths of the segments and the angles and all of that need to vary slightly. Some legs are longer than others and at different angles and so forth. So I think I'm going to um, mess around with my wire templates a little bit more and then when I'm happy I'm going to make these I think from a 6mm quarter inch round bar. Let's make a leg from this round stock. I've got my wire form that I'm happy with but now I'm not just going to bend it up out of this because if you look at the pictures again you will see that those uh, sections, segments, and where they join, it's quite a sharp corner. And bending it just won't look right. So I'm going to mark out the length of my sections right here. The first one there. And then I'll do another cut. Not cut, I'll show you now. Mark and mark right there. And what I'm going to do then, I see where I've marked. I'm going to cut halfway through the round bar first and then bend it. It might actually break off. So let's bend it slowly. If it does break off, it's not the end of the world. We can just roll it back together again. And another bend. Right, and if I'm happy with my bends, what I'm going to do is just weld it right there. And then mess around with the flap disc some, and I do think it looks a little bit more realistic. But what does bother me is the fact that it's all the same thickness. Now, uh, first price would be if you had a round stock that has got a smaller diameter, because this last part is typically a lot thinner. But now I don't have anything, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to taper this a little bit to uh, help with the effect. I also curved it a little bit. And yes, I'm liking it more now. Number two is done. Six more to go. And I got to keep in mind that we don't want them all to look exactly the same. So we want to vary the angles a little bit. One hour later. Eight of them. I think I've had enough of spider legs. <laughs> I'm ready to give this chappy some legs. So let's weld these on you.
Yeah, just cleaning up the welds a little bit here. Yeah. I just can't stand the old weld spatter. And I do believe we have created a mean, vague, son of a black widow spider. <laughs> Yeah, not necessarily what I would call a lifelike rendition, but I'm sure everybody will recognize it and know what it is. I mean, we do have eyes and jaws, claws, pincers, or whatever the correct Rachnidaidian <laughs> terminology is. Did I just make up that word? I think that could be improved. But that will be when the species evolves. So if you look carefully, you might see that I tried to weld on the legs in such a way that they're not exactly symmetrical, because that would just not look right. Same thing here, you can see that I just varied the angles of the legs ever so slightly, so that they are not all exactly the same. Yeah, now of course one can get even more creative with this kind of thing. How cool would it be to stick a red LED inside the head so that those eyes glow red? That would look mean, eh? <laughs> Unfortunately, I don't have one right now. As far as finishing go, yeah, definitely different options. You could paint it black and do those red marks here on the back, like a true black what I has. We can just clear coat it. We can just leave it to rust. Different options, your choice. Not hard to make a spider whip like this old one I've got here. Although I think the scale of this one is a bit wrong for our fellow here. And as far as mounting it to something goes, you can see I left that flat bar backbone protruding a little bit. So you could drill a hole through that, or weld a bracket on here. Something like that, depending on your application. Hey there, little spider. I think I have a new pet in the shop. I'm going to call her Charlotte. Some of you guys, you older guys, will remember that wonderful children's story by American writer E.B. White. Yes, say hey, listen. Creativity gives a sense of fulfillment and meaning to life. This is an easy weekend project. So go forth, be creative and make a spider, it's fun. I'll see you folks in the next video. Until then, have a lucky one my brothers and sisters. Whatever makes you happy, it just